maybe get yourself a snack. Me and you gonna have a little chat about books. Hey guys, so today I'm here to do a book review, or rather a graphic novel review. I haven't read a graphic novel in ages and ages so I felt like the other day I just wanted to pick some up and I saw this one which is Pretty Deadly by Kelly Sue DeConnick and Emma Rios and I saw this book on Mercedes channel I will link it down below so you guys can go and check her video and her channel out because she's amazing and I really really enjoy her book reviews and she said that she really enjoyed this and I think she rated it five stars, I'm not sure. I really, really enjoyed this. I only read this this morning, a couple of hours ago before sorting out all my bookshelves. And it didn't take me long at all. There's only about 120 pages. This is volume one, so it contains one to five of the individual comics. Are they comics? I'm not sure. This is basically a kind of twist on fairy tales. It's very, very gruesome. I would not recommend this if you are not into gore, blood, if you are not into stuff that's really creepy and dark, because it was a lot creepier and bloodier than I thought it was going to be. So definitely don't read this if you are a young kid, because it will scare you. It's a little bit freaky for me. And there were scenes of nudity and sex and things like that as well, so definitely don't read this if you are a young child. I, I would not recommend it unless you are older, and I would say it's much more of a older teenager to adult sort of age that it's aimed at. So, yeah. Just a warning. Moving on, the artwork is incredible. I love the artwork, especially the colours actually. The colours I thought were more interesting than the artwork at points because the colours were really really beautiful, the blend of them. For example, this is the opening page and I just absolutely love it. I think that it's so beautiful the way that there is a reflection in the water but there are also these creepy hands kind of peeping out of the water and the way that it just uses so many different colour palettes is beautiful for example this one's all in blues and sort of blue hues whereas this page is more in yellows and greys this page is obviously more in fiery colours so there are so many different pages and so many different colours used and I love the way that they have all these tiny little boxes I don't know if you guys can see it that well where it's kind of a zoomed in panel and I just think that the colour scheme and the drawing was really, really interesting. I know that I saw some reviews which said it was kind of art schooly or not very good. I don't care. I think it's really, really good, actually. And although the writing did take me the first few pages to get into it, because obviously I haven't read a graphic novel in a very long time, and also the writing was quite fairy tale like um, it was quite sort of rhyming and things like that at the first few pages so it did take me a little while to get into it however it's basically the story which is told by a bunny and a butterfly and they tell a story to one another about these people in this world and it's a really dark story a lot of bad things happen and there are you know all sorts of fights that go on and there are people chasing other people and there is a lot of blood and gore and guts and death is basically a living character who has been personified in this and it was just a really interesting concept and I actually really enjoyed it I didn't think I was going to after the first few pages it was quite gruesome it was quite weird and I didn't know what I was thinking about it all but as I got into the story and read it all in one sitting I felt like it was really really good I found myself studying all the artwork and sort of spotting more things that I didn't initially spot when scanning through and I just really enjoyed it and I thought it was a really interesting read I would definitely recommend this if you don't mind gore and things like that but I would say that it's definitely not going to be to everyone's tastes. There's certainly going to be people who don't like it and there's certainly going to be people who think it's a load of blood and guts and nonsense. But it does have a story, it does have um, a really interesting setup and I thought that the fact that it was done by an all-female cast as well was really interesting. So as soon as I heard about this I just wanted to pick it up because the front cover just instantly was gorgeous and I knew that I had to have it because it's so beautiful and I don't think that the next volume is out yet but I'm really going to be looking forward to it when it does come out and I'm sure that I will be picking it up when it does come out so yeah I would love to know what you guys think of this if you have read it I don't think many people have read it Mercedes channel is the only place I have seen it I ended up giving it a four out of five stars really enjoyable but definitely gruesome let me know what you thought and I will see you all very soon in my next video Bye. Me and you gonna have a little chat about the book.